Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest YouTube video on my channel, Technologist on the Go. Uh, today's topic is going to be uh, using the uh, uh, the Seagate Xbox Game Drive. It's got a cool Xbox logo that you can see there. And um, uh, this one, uh, you can get the, the slightly improved version uh, for uh, the... Uh, as I have that two terabyte model on Amazon right now for uh, seventy nine ninety nine. I'll put the link up on that if you will. I got mine for twenty five dollars and twenty five dollars for something that was not very well used. Hey, that's a very good deal. <laughs> and uh, and of course it's archival. Uh, you're using it for um, storage, or in the case of the Xbox, it works well with uh, mechanical drives. <clears throat> So let's just get right into it so you can see how to use it. And of course, <clears throat> like I said, it has other purposes. Uh, well, and so I don't think I'm not considering putting this in service some way because two terabytes is nothing. That's a, that's a hefty amount of data that is portable. And that's the whole business of Technologist on the Go, isn't it? Now, uh, you can see here that I have uh, placed the uh, Xbox uh, game drive on top of my computer and actually right now um, on my Xbox One S, I mean, uh, you can see it's, I have it plugged into HDMI uh, 2. Uh, either one works just fine. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how um, you see the interface working through the Xbox. Um, initially, I'm going down to settings, system, storage devices. And uh, right now you only see the internal drive because at the moment I've, you know, at the time of recording this, it was disconnected. And um, now it is connected and you see it prompting you for how you plan to use it. And in this case, I'll just be sticking to using it with the console for right now. And uh, now I'm going to go through and pick a game, uh, a hefty game to move over. And that's an NBA uh, game. I don't really care much for it and so I'm gonna go ahead and move it on the archive drive and I, I'm speeding up the process here it took about uh, actually about 20 minutes but it would be just maybe 40 seconds or so and it's speeding right through uh, on the display here I just want to give a simple demonstration in terms of how um, uh, what how you how it's going to function while you're using it. And truth be told, you don't need the, uh, a game drive to do this. You can do it with any drive that's uh, 256 gigabytes in storage. But like I, I do want to add gaming pounds a drive. So if you think, wow, I got this big, you know, uh, uh, jump drive, I'll put, put it in there. It's going to kill that jump drive in short order because those drives aren't meant to be pounded like that. They're meant for quick copying, copy here, copy there but not for heavy reading and writing uh, as you get in the game mode. And that's what the the the, uh, the the good benefit is here with this one. It's designed for that, so it's going to withstand that that kind of heavy environment. And so there you have it. I recommend the drive, certainly at the price I got it. But even if you go buy a brand new, it's going to perform well for you. It's small enough to be portable. Uh, if you want to use it in a uh, in a business setting, and and be fully um, confident that you can store your archive data on it, retrieve it decently well. But the main thing is it can take the pounding of all those reads and writes, uh, and that's what you really want on something that's going to be uh, serving some kind of uh, you know uh, vault or storage status, archiving status or in the case of, uh, of a gaming system to uh, load the games that <clears throat> that you no longer have space for internally. Okay, uh, please give me the like and subscribe. And if you got your own, own channel, I will counter subscribe to you as well, right? Thank you much. Bye-bye.